Hi, I'm Mira. Welcome to Flow with Mira. By popular request, we have Pilates with arm weight. We'll be doing a traditional intermediate Pilates exercises and spice it up with some arm weight. So let's go along. Let's come to the mat with me. I have one kilo arm weight with me. You are welcome to do half a kilo or two kilos if you're feeling really strong today or stick with one kilo like what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and place the arm weight on the floor. We're going to start with some foot release first. So place one of them underneath your foot and all you need to do is just roll your foot up and down going to the front of the toes, whoop, mine's ran away, and going down to the back of the foot towards the heel. So I like you to just, you know, um, play around with it. Go into the outside of the foot, go into the inside of the foot and through the middle and just really give it a really good massage. Just to release the tension underneath the metatarsal there. All right, so. Give it a good massage there and just let it go and just feel the difference between the foot that you just worked on and the other foot. All right, let's go to the other side. Mine definitely come a little bit more alive. And so let's go. We go over from the front of the foot towards the back of the foot. And again, play around. If you find any tender spot, in the arch of your foot, just play around with it and give it a little bit more of a pressure to release the tension. Be gentle if you need to, or go hard if you like to. Just play around with it. Inside of the foot, outside of the foot, right to the heel, maybe underneath the toes. Press it on it, put your weight on it. All right, one more. Good rolling of the foot and let it go. All right, and just walk on the spot and see how your feet are feeling now. Mine are definitely awake and ready for the class. So let's go ahead, grab the arm weight. We're going to start sitting on the front of the mat. Feet are parallel, and then take your arms forward. We start with a roll back position here. So we're taking in breath here. Nice and tall. Really try to keep the weight or carry the weight of your arm underneath your armpit and allow the weight to travel down towards the middle back and towards the front of the abdominal here. And lifting the spine as we in breath. And exhale, drawing the deep TVA muscles like a corset. One more time, in breath, and exhale, and inhale, exhale as we round the spine into the C curve, we then travel the pelvis underneath you to bring the lower back down to the floor and the arms are still long in front of you here, take an in breath, exhale, we lift ourselves up and over forward shoulder over the pelvis and then lift the spine up and let's go ahead and open the arms up to a T position. Again, allow the arm to settle down in the armpit girdle there. Arms forward into C curve. We roll back, sacrum to the floor, lower back to the floor. Maintain that C curve in breath. Exhale, coming up into over the C curve, C curve over the pelvis. Open the arms out to a T position and the arms come forward again. Two more times, C curve. We roll back to the lumbar spine in breath. Exhale, come over, forward over the pelvis, lifting the spine tall, opening the arms out to the T position. And the last one would take the arms forward into the C curve. And we roll back and back and back and stay in that C curve position. I'd like you to bring your feet closer towards the pelvis, stay in parallel. The arms come down to the side of the pelvis and then go ahead and lower the chest and the head down. Now here, place your palms on the 
arm weight, I like you to just glide the arm down. So you're gliding the shoulder blades down away from your ears. And then I like you to glide the shoulder blades up. So shrugging up, bringing the shoulder towards your ears and then gliding down. In breath, glide up, shrugging up. Exhale, gliding down. And in breath, glide the shoulder blades up. Again, a few more times. Exhale. So it's an upward and downward movement of the scapula by, by reaching your arms down towards your feet and allowing the shoulder to come up towards your ears. Two more. Downward and upward. And last one, just feeling that shoulder starting to relax away from your ears. And let's go ahead and travel the shoulder blades down and keep that arm active here. Let's move on to the pelvic curl. So we have the feet grounding to the floor. The arms are active in breath. Exhale, go ahead and deepen the abdominal, curl the pelvis, then Press the pelvis up, use the hamstring to help your pelvis articulate up, the spine articulate up, and the arms are still actively reaching towards the feet. Your inner thighs are active, in breath. As you exhale, lengthen the neck away from the shoulders as you gradually roll the spine down, vertebra by vertebra, and take yourself all the way to that start position. We breathe in again. Exhale. Deflate in the abdominal to allow the lower back to imprint and then go ahead and articulate up. Arms are active, arms are reaching, thighs are reaching towards the knees and the toes. Inner thighs are active so your knees are not splitting out to the side. In breath, exhale and roll down. Give yourself a big sigh. So you really try to feel that vertebrae softening down, it's like a little massage, and release. And again, exhale, drawing the abdomen, really sink that lower back down, and then articulate up, 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 up. Reach the fingertips with the knees towards the feet, in breath. Exhale, as if someone is Lengthening or pulling the neck away from your shoulders as you roll the spine down. Give you the opposition tracking. It'll give you a nice, really stretch through your spine. One more time. In breath. Exhale. Roll up. Up. All the way up to that bridge position. Now let's hold this position here. Firmly press your feet down. I want you to grab the weight in your arms and then float the arms up to the sky and turn the palms facing each other. We inhale, we open the arms out to a T position off the floor. Exhale, contract the abdominal as you take the arms above the shoulder. Inhale, we open the arms out off the floor. Exhale. As you move the arms, keeping your center nice and switched on. And again, in breath. Exhale. Your neck is still nice and long. Two more, exhale. Your hamstrings are working hard here to keep the pelvis high. Last one. And bring it up, stay. Turn the palms towards the knee. Bring your arms overhead and place your arms down to the floor. And reach the arms away. Now here, like you yawned, you breathe out, you roll the spine down, away from the arms. Try to imprint every single vertebra down to the floor, down to the floor, down to the floor, and release the pelvis back. And let's do one more time. You curl up, roll up, lengthening away from the arms, reaching. Imagine someone's pulling your thigh away as you roll down as well. And exhale, we roll down, reach the thigh away, lengthen the spine down. Take it all the way back to your start position there. Brilliant. And just circle your arms out to a T position. Press your arms down here. 
float one leg up to the tabletop. Second leg up joining, squeezing the inner thighs, legs and tabletop. Let's go spine twist supine, over to me as we inhale. Exhale, back to center. We rotate from the waistline, anchoring the shoulders. The arm width should help you to anchor the shoulders better. And inhale, over towards me. Exhale, back to center. Inhale. Exhale. Have a look at your thigh and make sure that they are next to each other and they are squeezing tightly in the midline. And again, in breath. Exhale. We rotate from the waistline. The pelvis and the thighs move together as one unit. Exhale. One more here. Inhale. Exhale. And back to the center. Take your arms overhead again. Ready for the hundreds breath. We take the arms up as you in breath. Lift the head and the chest up. Come up to that chest lift position. We hold the chest lift, the arms float up, and then return the chest and the head and the arms forward through. Inhale, arms, head lift, chest lift. And then bring it up and come on down. Two more. And inhale, bring it up and come down. One more. Inhale, come up. And let's go on to a hundred. So, arms up. And exhale. Shoot the legs forward to an appropriate height for you. We stand in in breath. And let's go exhale for five. Four, three, two, one, and inhale. Three, four, five. Can we come up a little higher, perhaps? Three more sets. Two. Last. Stay. Drag the knees in, drag the knees in, and stay. Bring your hands on top of the shin, drop the knees a little bit, bend the elbows. I want you to curl the chest up and rock yourself up to rolling like a ball position. Now I'd like you to let go one of the weight and place the other weight in between the thighs. So I have it just above the knee here. You can place it a little high if you wish to. Let's go to rolling like a ball here. So this, is, this may be a little tricky. I'd really like you to keep holding on tightly on the weight. Now let's go ahead and bring the feet up, hands on the shin above the ankles here. Legs together, really hold that arm weight in between the thighs. So float up, curl the spine. And let's go, we inhale, do not drop that arm weight on your face. Exhale, and then inhale, squeezing tight. Exhale, again, inhale, it's a bit nerve wracking, you have the arm weight right in front of your face there. So you know you have to really work your inner thighs muscle. And again, in breath, keep the shape of the spine, hold the shape, hold the shape of the whole body, in fact, exhale. Two more, in breath, exhale, last one, in breath, exhale, balance, balance, and release, well done. Let's grab the weight back in your hands, straighten the legs, right, let's go to your roll up, roll up, excuse me, let's take our arms forward here, All right, so reach the toes long, legs together, into the C curve. So we are starting the reverse way here. Now from there, go ahead and roll the pelvis back, lower back down to the floor. And then take your arms up and then head back and arms overhead. Now take care that you do not flare. You don't flare the rib cage out as your arms are overhead. Lengthen the rib cage down towards the pelvis. The arms float up. 
the head lifts up into the chest lift and then squeeze the inner thighs, curl the pelvis and then bring the body up and over the pelvis in breath. Exhale, we roll back, sacrum, lower back. Then the arms float overhead, arms up, lifting the head and the chest, arms forward. Exhale, come forward, forward, forward again, in breath. Exhale, we roll back, sacrum is down, lower back is down. Then the arms follow through over the head. We take the arms up. We'll lift the head and the chest up. And then we curl the spine into that C curve. One more time. We roll back and take the arms overhead. We take the arms up, lift the head and the chest up, looking forward. Then we come up over into that C curve here. And I want you to lift the spine up. Just readjust your seat. Open the arms up to a T position. Exhale, open arms up to a T position. Exhale, spine is long, two more. Exhale, last one. Exhale, turn the palms down, bend the knees, bring the feet in. Now, I'd like you to here, curl the spine and roll back. And then as you roll back, bring the legs up to a tabletop position. Ready for the double leg stretch. We inhale, stretch the arms and the legs. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it in. Two more, reach. Exhale, last one, reach. We've got single leg stretch here. Stay, arms down by the side. Tabletop, extend the right leg forward, curl the chest up a little bit more. Actually, you turn the palms inside way for me, please. And then we switch, exhale, and then we'll switch. Can we lift a little higher, perhaps? We've got three, three, two, two, one. One, both legs are in, lift up a little higher, extend the left leg forward, crisscross, bring your left arm in between the thighs, rotate your body to your right. And then over the rainbow with the arms and over to the other side as we switch the leg. And exhale, turn. And exhale, turn. Exhale, rotate. Up and over with the arms and forward. Up and over and forward. Up and over and forward and rotate from the waist and one more set. Last one. Back to the center, legs together, turn the palms down, bring the arms down, head down, chest down. Hold the legs up ready for the rollover. I like you to change the grip in your hand. Now I like you to have the palms on the arm weight and reach the arm weight away. Extending the legs to 60, up to the ceiling and then curl the pelvis, roll yourself over, flex the feet, separate them, flex the hip, bring the legs down towards the floor and then go ahead, roll the spine down and try to keep the thighs as close as possible to your chest and settle the pelvis, feet all up, and away again up to the sky roll over we dorsiflex we separate we lower the feet down from the hip joint we then curl the spine down arms are still active settle the pelvis down point the feet reach the legs away bring them together again up and roll over we flex we separate we lower down and as you actively reach the arms, we roll the spine down, down, down. We point, legs away, together, one more time, up. Roll over. We flex, separate, and down. And we take our body down. And pelvis down, 
point, reach away and together have your legs up to the sky ready for the corkscrew. Over to me please as we inhale and down, over to you, back to center and towards you. Exhale down, over to me and center. Again, to me and down and center and to you. Exhale down. Keep your arms active. And last set. Exhale down. And last. In breath. Exhale away. And center. We bend the knee. We lower one foot down. And second leg down. I'd like you to lift the arm closer to me. Overhead. And then let's turn your body. Face me. Now. Place one of the arm weight in between the thigh for the side lift and the other one with the top arm to the sky. All right, I want you to again rest or carry the arm weight down underneath the armpit girdle so you can connect down towards your upper abdominal and the middle abdominal here. All right, when you're ready, legs are together. Let's go, breathe out, Ooh, lift and back have a sensation of the arm pressing down as you lift the legs it will help you to connect more to your center again exhale in breath lower and exhale in breath lower and exhale and lower three more and lower two and lower last one and lower release the top arm down bend the knee help yourself up let's go over to the other side all right it's the same thing bottom arm is long okay right Pressing that shoulders away from your ears. Engage the lat muscles and the oblique muscles. And when you're ready, breathe out. Lift. And down. And as you lower the leg, I want you to control and resist the lowering just off the floor. And out. Resist the lowering. And out. And lower. And out. Lower. Three more. And two. And last. And release. And lower the arm, bend the knee, and take the arm away off and go into the front. Onto our back extension here. So arms are long by the side. Legs are long. Palms facing your thigh. Lengthening the pelvis down towards the feet, drawing the abdominal muscles. And so we inhale, lifting the back to an extension. Then I want you to open the arms up to a T position. And bring the arms back and lower down. Again, inhale to lift and up and then back and lower. Again, inhale to lift. Exhale, arms up. Inhale, arms back. Lift a little higher, perhaps, and come on down. Three more. Lift. It's definitely feel a little bit more challenging with the arm weight in your hands. And as you do this exercise, two more. And lift. Arms up. And back. And try. Keep the neck aligned with the rest of the spine, please. So you are still looking down here to the floor. Arms out and back and come on down. Well done. Bend the elbows. Push the floor away around the back into a quick rest position. And then go ahead and roll the spine up. Coming up to your kneeling position here. So we are going to do some arm series while we're in a kneeling position here. So I want you to tuck the toes under. Now, nice and tall to start. From here, turn the palms facing back. I want you to then fall from the hip joint, lean the body forward. 
Right, hold that TVM muscle. Bring the arm down the line with the shoulder. And then exhale. We pull up. In breath. And exhale. In breath, lower. And exhale. In breath, lower. Exhale. And lower. Three more. Make sure you lift the arm past the pelvis. And lift. Last one. And stay up there. Little pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it forward and lift the pelvis up just for a moment. And let's go down again. Hinge forward from the hip joint. We lift the arms up, we stay. We bend the elbows, we extend back. We bend the elbows and extend. We bend, more tricep. We bend and extend. Three, two, one, and lift the pelvis up. All right, palms facing forward here. Release the ankle, so you have your ankle flat on the floor. Let's go for some circle. We take the arms up, turn the palms, and then down to the side. We go exhale, flip, and down. And exhale, strong in the center, so your spine doesn't wobble around as you move the arms around. Two more, up, and down. Last one, up and down, reverse. We go side, turn the palms, and down, and side, and turn the arms, and down, and three, and turn, and three more, and down, and two, and down, and last, and down. Let's take the arms up to the side, and overhead here, let's go, bending the elbows, and then glide the shoulder blades as you extend up, and two, and extend the elbow, arms up, and then three, extend, arms up, and then four, and, and two more, lift, last one, and we lift, open the arms, and come on down. All right, let's go to a quadruped position here. All right, let's face here. Now I want you to have one, put away one of the arm weight and place the other one behind the knee. All right, squeeze that arm weight with you. We're going to do our kneeling glute series here. So align the ribs, not the rib, the wrist and the shoulder. So I'm just going to start with my left leg first here. So I bend my knee, my foot comes up, and I lift my thigh from my hip joint, stabilize my center so my pelvis is nice and stable. We fall through the hip and we lift. So we're going through the motion of hip flexion and hip extension. And then down and lift. And down, lift. And lift four more three two last up we bring it in let's go over to the side we open and we close open in the thigh out try not to lose that arm weight behind the knee squeezing in and close on four and push the floor away so you can actually support the spine a little bit better if you allow the body to sink down your whole center is going to work double hard to maintain that natural curve of the spine out last two out last one out and bring it in grab the arm weight with the opposite arm Extend that same leg, the left leg. Take the opposite arm forward. And from here, lift the arm. 
and then lift the leg. And lower. And two. And lower. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last ten. Bring them in. Excellent. Let's go over to the other side. I'm just going to turn myself around. So we have, I have my right leg working now. Align my wrist, align your wrist and the shoulder. And draw in that TBA muscle. And when you're ready, let's go. Up one. And in. I'm just going to put my arm weight better. Two. Folding at the hip joint. And three. Folding through the hip joint. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one here, ten. Let's go open to the side, out, and close. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, stable pelvis, eight, two more, nine, last one, ten, well done. Grab the arm with the opposite hand, extend the arm forward and the right leg. And let's go. We lift. And two. Keep the arms up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last ten. And bring them in. Quick rest position here. And coming up. Let's go to our prone position. So lying on the front here. We've got double leg stretch. Bring the arm weight behind you. Have the legs together. Turn your head face me. All right. And when you're ready, let's legs, extend the legs off the floor. And let's go kick. Three, two, one. Inhale, extend the arms, extend the legs, lift the spine, head over to the other side. And we go, kicking one, two, three. Inhale, reach, reach, and lift. And one, two, three. The good thing with the arm weight is help you to lift up a little high because it's weighted backward. And again, lift, two, three. So you find yourself to have more range in extension, again, three, two, one. Inhale, lift, lift, lift. Again, exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, lift. We hold, we hold, and transfer the arm weight forward. This is a tough one. Straighten the arms, hands down, legs long, head between the arms. Let's go to swimming. Inhale, paddle the legs. Exhale. The arms are nice and still there. Just holding on to the arm weight. Exhale. We just got three more sets here. Exhale. Two. One. We hold and come down. Well done. Right, bring your arms underneath you. Push up. Sit back, rest position. Quick one and roll up. Last one, last exercise, and then we're done. Grab both arm weights in your hands, thigh stretch. So, arms forward, palms facing each other, lifting the spine up from here. We exhale, we recruit the abdominal. We lean back from the knees, hold, bring it up, and lift. Again, exhale, abdominal, lean back, hold in breath. Exhale, up, and let it go. Two more. 
exhale. Back, 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 hold. Come up. And let it go. One more. Exhale. Hold. Let's stay here. Inhale, we open the arms. Exhale. Surprise. Inhale, open the arm. Exhale. Three more. Two. One. Stay. Coming up. And let it go. Well done. Have a sit. Have a sit. Have a sit. Leg of the arm weights. Have your legs in a diamond position. We'll finish up the class. We in breath. Exhale. Rolling down the spine. Walking your arms through forward. And inhale at the bottom. Exhale. Lifting up. In breath. And exhale, roll down again one more time. Allow the spine to really release down as low as possible towards the legs. In breath. Exhale. Rolling up. Rolling up. Rolling up. Sitting nice and tall. Close your eyes for a moment. One long deep inhalation with me, please. Long exhalation. Placing the palms together in front of the heart. Another inhalation with me. Exhale. Let's thank ourselves. Thank you, Mira, for doing the class. And well done. Thank you for joining me today. And keep yourself mobile, keep it moving, keep yourself hydrated. And I'll see you back on the mat again tomorrow. All right, take care. Well done on completing this class, your star. I'm Mira, and I'm here to help you to love, look, and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free six day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This six day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow With Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.